Technology push and market pull are two ideas that affect innovation strategy, and we're going to take a look at how they affect that strategy. And so, why do we think this concept of technology push and market pull is significant? But basically, if you consider innovation types, they can be classified as either technology-driven or market-driven. And by classifying innovation opportunities like this, either technology-driven or market-driven, you can make it easier to develop appropriate strategies for how to get your innovation into the marketplace. So first, let's look at technology push. What do we mean by technology push? This is where uh, research and development or some technology breakthrough actually drives the launch of a product. And so it's the technology that is interesting to customers in the marketplace and valuable to customers in the marketplace. And some examples of this are when uh, back in, uh, way back in 1993, when Apple Newton, uh, the Apple Newton PDA was, uh, was developed and it was way ahead of its time, but it was a real good example of technology push. Pushed way out there, interesting technology. Maybe it wasn't as successful as it could have been, but it was pushed out into the marketplace. And also, now we see in a current uh, uh, example, uh, the Samsung Galaxy with touchscreen technology in uh, 2012 is really uh, an example of a technology push that was pushed out in the marketplace and probably responding to some market need, but basically it was a push of technology. And so let's look at the other side of this, market pull. What do we mean by market pull? This is when uh, the market demand for some solution to a problem or some solution to a need in the marketplace actually triggers the development of a new product. So there's pressure and interest and desire from the marketplace that is telling companies, we need to have something. And so uh, one example of this is simply the, the miniaturization of digital cameras, making them smaller and easier to use, and photo editing software where there was a real rush of people who are taking photos everywhere and processing them. And so the market really uh, was telling companies that what we need is an easy way to handle all these digital photos. And so the market did respond to that. And so let's start with looking at a technology push approach and how that really plays out. First of all, in a technology push approach, you are focusing on technical issues and problems. And then what you do is trigger some kind of a search for technical and scientific knowledge uh, in both within the firm in your R&D uh, function or uh, your, the talent that you've got inside your company. And you also look with, uh, at external sources. What is it that the body of knowledge, the body of scientific knowledge, the body of technical knowledge uh, can, uh, can show you and tell you about what that technology can do? And from that, you develop some kind of an innovative technical solution that you then can offer into the marketplace. So that's how technology push uh, develops. And market pull just, again, develops just the other way. Uh, you start with understanding external market needs. You recognize them as a trigger for possible search to technology and, and scientific knowledge that might uh, be a way to help solve that problem but you're really starting with uh, external needs and marketplace needs. And you analyze that for potential solutions and you basically build an innovative offering for the marketplace. And so what you're doing is you're taking ideas from the marketplace, you're looking for technology solutions and then responding uh, to the marketplace, but responding with a technology solution or some innovative solution that really is directly responsive to the marketplace. And so, when you think about linking technology, uh, technology always plays a role in almost every innovation. And so you want to find ways that you can exploit the creative insight and talent that you have within your firm and also uh, what is available outside of your firm. What resources do you have that you can draw upon? And you want to recognize what type of research and unique expertise is necessary to make the problem solvable and feasible in the marketplace. And it works best when you can link both technology push and market pull in what we call technology and market linking. In this matrix that you see here, uh, we have four, four uh, quadrants. And you can see in the upper left-hand quadrant where you have 
a low ability to link technology to the product and I have a low ability to identify the need, you're not going to have a good venture idea. You're not going to have a good innovation. On the other hand, the lower right end is where you have a powerful technology and you have a, an applicable technology and you have a recognized market need, that's where you have a winner. And so you have a very strong venture potential in that area. So you want to be looking for ways in which you ultimately can connect the, the value of the technology with the understanding of the market need. And so we can look at how markets actually inform innovations. And so it, you, you start with a, in, a, in this two-step process, you can really start with a very simple technology application and you can apply it to almost any customer and form a very simple uh, prototypical uh, solution approach. And you put it out there in the market and you then test and you find out uh, if you can build a more relevant application, what is the, the market telling you about it? You find a typical user. Once you've got it out in the marketplace, you find out uh, if you don't know who the user is, you'll find out once you put it out in the marketplace, who's using that, uh, that innovative technology. And from that, you can spawn additional applications. You can refine your, your product or your service and you can achieve uh, really a, a better understanding of what the need is out there. So the markets inform something that you're putting out there to test. And the other side of this is how innovations actually inform markets. So this is kind of like a technology push. You're putting a technology out there in the marketplace and you're showing people in the marketplace how well something works. And so what you've really got to be able to do, you can start with a minor innovation that maybe is very workable, but uh, it's not clear what the technology opportunity is. And so you, you start without a project champion, you put it out there in the marketplace and you look at what the market response is and you can validate uh, that need with some research and you test its feasibility. And if it really flies, then you, assign a product champion and you can then develop that product to really work in the marketplace. So the takeaways here for technology push and market pull are recognizing where your innovation is. It is it a technology push innovation or is it a market pull innovation? You have to understand what it is that uh, is, it is really responding to. And where technology push and market pull are actually linked, you have a much greater impact and a much greater likelihood of success of any innovation. And ultimately, markets will inform innovation opportunities to make them acceptable and profitable. So markets are the ultimate determinant of the success of an innovation.